first ball that was Chris Gale now that was a terrific delivery how's that for a surprise just take a look at that perfect length and swinging in next was Chandra Paul who sort of stopped himself for some inexplicable reason and just managed to spoon it up for an easy take there he'd be very disappointed with that and wicket number three was Ronako Morton couldn't score of 31 balls to an extent relieved him of his misery but it was a good delivery pitched in line straightened to the runs gone the finger goes up and uh, Lara well whether he's disappointed with himself or the decision only time may tell but Bracken has wicket number three and a four down for the West Indies well there was certainly some sound there beat the bat well maybe not so it could be a problem there for Brian Lara well whatever it is he's back in the pavilion walking back very very disappointed for five West Indies now in deep trouble 32 for four And they're right behind the apple. Straight. Can't get easier. Shane Watson again digging it shot. And Dwayne Bravo was sucked into playing a full shot. And delight for the Australians. They've dismissed half the side now. Yes, not a good shot from here, this one. Bravo won't be happy with this. Ricky Ponning at short mid wicket didn't have to move. Watson digs in the shorter ball. And how short is that? That is not a good hook shot. And look at that, Ricky Potty just took one step to his right. Throws it in the air. Bravo throws his head in the air. And off he goes. West Indies, 55 for five. He's bold him. What a delivery! A few deliveries angled across the left hander. And here's the one that lifts back through the gate. Fantastic bowling. Wavel Hines uh, smiles on the Australian faces. Oh, that's decked back a fair way. It's gone right through the gap there. Wavel just looks around and thinks, oh dear, not my tournament. And that young fella there has had a bit of a good tournament as well. Wavell Hyde's on his way now. West Indies shot in the water. 56 for 6. 50 runs partnership. 26 of 23 for Dwayne Smith. Oh, and uh, this will be close if he hits the stumps. And he's hit the stumps. It's all over. Well, he's one of the best. Ponting gets a little opening there. He picks it up one-handed and it's all over. Ponting and Clark, they are the two most accurate in the world. Deadly they are in situations like this one. Well, really deadly is the word. Just take a look. Just that one opportunity running away from the stumps. Ponting comes in. Now, not only does he have to pick up, but he's got a hit. And he does. He also had to see that Sarwan is not in the way of that throw. But that was a very, very unfortunate happening for the West Indies. 36 to Sarwan. It's now 106 for 7. Well, that's obviously played and it's out caught at mid-wicket. He's, uh, he's really tried to, well, I don't know, perhaps close the face on that one mistake he made was to get it in the air so Brett Lee hasn't taken too long he's managed to uh, get himself another wicket yeah there's the uh, replay really wasn't uh, wasn't there to hit he either had to go right over the top really blast it or uh, he just had to drop it and run so Brett Lee gets himself uh, another wicket Dwayne Smith, the man out for 30. It's 112 for 8. Not for very long, the bowlers took over. Take it. 
get the feeling, got the outside edge, a delayed reaction from the umpire Asadrov. But he's got to take the long walk back. Another beautiful spell of bowling by Brackley. Yeah, it was. This one's a little wide for Bradshaw here. And he obliges, just chases it there, doesn't get to the ball, just new to the crease. Big outside edge there, simple catch to Haddon. And yet another one falls. Brett Lee gets his third. West Indies, 112 for nine. The block hole ball at some point. It's in the air. Haddon's getting underneath it. And he's taken it easily. And Australia have won this DLF Cup in great style. Yeah, good wicket there for Brett Lee. Australia win by 127 runs. Brett Lee gets four wickets. Congratulations all around, not only for Brett Lee there, but the Australians just celebrating amongst themselves on a good win. Emphatic win, actually. And here's how the last wicket fell. Short ball, Carlton ball, couldn't help himself. Really an uphill task for him. Haddon takes another catch. He's had a good series. Brett Lee's had a good series. And the Australians are triumphant here at Kuala Lumpur. So Carlton Ball, the last man out for three. West Indies bowled out for 113. Australia are the DLF Cup champions. Well, experimented in the first four games. Brought in a squad of 18 Australia into this tournament. Tried with a few players. Eventually, when it got to the final match, he stuck to the best team, coming out as true champions. Did not get too many, were in a spot of bother when they batted.